The Zulu, Mbonga Ningema's first stage appearance in 27 years, opened to audiences waiting in anticipation for the debut from the theatre legend. And on this day, he was alone, in deep thought about the future of the Zulu nation. I didn't have the courage to tell it before now. I mean, it was there from childhood. I was almost always tempted to tell it, but I think never had the courage to tell it and then I'll end up telling another story. In an extended monologue chronicling the battles of the Anglo-Zulu and Boer-Zulu wars, right from the reign of King Shaka to Tsejwayo, Ngema passionately and eloquently tells of the struggles the Zulu people have faced during the colonial period. The play begins with the grandmother who's blind, living in rural poverty. And she had always imagined that she would be a grandmother like me someday. And the kind of rural, rural poverty which is the product of colonialism and the politics. And asked me to sit in front of her around the fire. That fire that was always burning, even in broad daylight, in a hot summer day. Ngema then tells the story up to the Battle of Isandwana, when the Zulu stopped the imperial uh, uh, progress in its tracks for a moment. His great-grandmother singled Ngema out to impart the unique tradition of oral storytelling that conveys the history of South Africa's indigenous peoples. I would sit there for hours and listen to her until I fall asleep. I hate it every night. I know she's going to be looking for me. It was only later on that I realized how blessed I was. After she died, that's when I felt, oh my God, a part of me has just gone away. Not until I got involved in theater that I began to realize, actually, that's where my theater comes from. She is the one who wanted me to tell stories. <laughs> Zulu people who watch the show can be instilled with a sense of pride regarding the tenacity of a people that have faced great hardships over the centuries. It's the Zulu state of mind, and that state of mind is the state of mind of, of prowess, of dignity of not being defeated. Director Christopher John is certain that despite the seemingly specific target audience indicated in the title, that all audiences can gain a sense of who they are and where they come from. Obviously it's very powerful for Zulu people, but uh, I also found white people English, of English descent, of Afrikaans descent, going, okay, so that's where we fit into this story. Um, or, and, and, and people of other ethnicities, African ethnicities, going, oh, so either how do I fit into the story, or if this is that Zulu story, what would my story be? Opening to rave reviews, the Zulu is slated to perform to international audiences such as Zimbabwe, Swaziland and New York. The Zulu plays at the Rhodes Theatre during the National Arts Festival of 2013.